Good morning or good afternoon depending on when you've decided to do this task. Today your task is to write a descriptive piece of writing using the vocabulary that you collected yesterday based on the two pictures from our story journey. So here is a list of my vocabulary that I collected. Okay, so my extended noun phrases there, I've got the calm, clear blue water. I have got enchanting towers, glittering golden, golden roofs, majestic, breathtaking buildings, safe small boat, friendly, welcoming guards and dense green forest. The verbs that I collected were rippled, guarded, towered, protected, sailed, waved, sparkled, stood and reflected. And the adverbs of manner that I collected were gently, slowly, protectively, excitedly, peacefully, quietly and enthusiastically. And finally, I went for the challenge and I got some personification, metaphor and similes. The water was a guard using its reflection as an eye to spy on enemies. The sun danced and the tunnel under the bridge was like a mouth ready to swallow its visitors. Now I'm going to use this bank of words and phrases to help me write my descriptive piece of writing. Have you got yours ready? So how can we start? The girl sails towards this new landscape and where she's come, come from. She's come from the forest. So I'm going to use my dense green forest to start us off. So, as the girl, what was she doing? Sailed, and how did she sail? Sailed, looking at my adverbs, gently. As the girl, sailed gently uh, out of Where does she sail out of? The dense green forest. That expanded noun phrase. Dense, comma for list. Green forest. Now it wouldn't make sense if I put a full stop there. Okay, this is a subordinate clause because I've got the conjunction as there. As the girl sailed gently out of the dense green forest, what could she see? So above her, towering above her, what could she see? Let's have a look at my expanded noun phrases. Towering above her, um, above her was a city full, and I'm going to use this majestic breathtaking buildings was a city full of majestic, comma for list, breathtaking buildings. Wow. Now I want to write about the glittering golden roofs because I think that would go really nicely with the fact that we've been talking about the buildings here. Um, so how could I turn that into a sentence? Looking over at my personification, metaphor and simile list, I've got the sun danced. So I could talk about the sun dancing on prepositional, the glittering golden roofs. So I'm going to use something like that. So the sun, in fact, I'm going to change it to the sun rays danced they don't actually dance so that is personification the sun rays danced on preposition there the glittering golden I'm going to put rooftops Glittering, oh, comma for list there, glittering golden 
roof tops. What a lovely sentence, I'm quite proud of that. The sun rays danced on the glittering golden roof tops. This does sound like a truly magical place. Okay, I'm quite happy with the amount of detail I've written about the building so far, so I'm going to go on to another part of the picture and I'm going to look at the water. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and link the buildings and the city to the water. So I'm going to start off with talking about where they are in relation to one another, where they are positioned. So I'm going to look at my prepositions and going to use the word surrounding and then use surrounding the city. And I'm, I could put surrounding the, what have I used? I've used majestic, I might put the magical because it's not quite, oops, a magical, it's not quite majestic. The magical city, so I'm not repeating myself, surrounding the magical city, um, what was there? Let's look at my list, my expanding noun phrases, the calm, clear blue water, surrounding the magical city, the calm, clear blue water what did it do let's have a look my verbs it rippled that's quite a good verb for it uh, have i got anything in my personification metaphor similar list the water was a guard using its reflection as an eye to spy on enemies love that so i'm going to put surrounding the magical city the calm clear blue water was a guard was a guard, what did I put? Using its reflection, its reflection as an eye to spy on enemies, on enemies. full stop. Remember, like we would do in class, it's always good after a few sentences to read your work out loud to check it makes sense, see if you need to add in any more words, if you've missed any punctuation. So I'm going to read through mine. As the girl sailed gently out of the dense green forest, towering above her was a city full of majestic, breathtaking buildings. The sun rays danced on the glittering golden rooftops. Surrounding the magical city, the calm, clear blue water was a guard using its reflection as an eye to spy on enemies. So, just double check that I've got commas for a list and that I've used commas after any subordinate clauses. Dang. Sun rays dance on the glittering golden roof surrounding the magical city. Yep. Check my spelling looks okay. I think I need to improve my handwriting for the next few sentences though. Right. And then, like we do in class, if we've got a checklist or we've got a word bank, it's a really good idea to make sure that we have used a range of different vocabulary to make sure that we are really using that word bank successfully. So let's have a look. Here's my word bank. So I've ticked off the noun, expanded noun phrases I've used. I've used four of those. Calm, clear blue water, glittering golden roof, and then I put tops. Majestic, breathtaking buildings and dense green forests. And I've also used the verb sailed. Um, I've used the adverb gently. And I've I have used this sentence here and this one here. My prepositions I've used, I've used surrounding and I've used, oh, I've used the word above, which isn't actually here. I'm going to add that there. Above. Tick. Um, and I have used mm, on. 
not used on top of, but I've used on, which is a, which is a preposition. Okay, so I've got a good range of expanded noun phrases there. I need to add more verbs in. Although I did have danced, which came from over here, and possibly some more adverbs of manner when I go on to write my next few sentences. Right, let's get going. Hopefully that was helpful to you. So go get writing, use those word banks, remember to put those prepositions in and do your best. Use those gem powers. Good luck. Bye.